All right, I'm out here in my garage, and uh, as you can see, we got lots of crap lying around. Uh, but here was my paint station for the uh, the uh, integrated amplifier case. So what I did was I took the case off, and then I suspended it over these two boxes so I could spray underneath and over and around without having to uh, move it around. And that worked very, very well. So uh, over here, you can actually see the start of my Quad 44. So there's the faceplate in white, and this is using the Plasti Dip. And as you can see, it really does look nice. And I also like the texture. It's kind of like a rubberized texture. And um, I think it's going to look really, really good. So what I've done is I've printed out on decal paper. Um, here's that Plasti Dip that I used, and, uh, and I've got one in blue. This one's white. I pretty much used that up on uh, on the case, but I think that's all the white that I need. So I've got the case here, you can see, and uh, there's the quad 44, and this is the back side. And of course, you'll have all your inputs here and everything, and then this faceplate basically meets up underneath and uh, and buttons up onto the system. I've got it all taped up and shielded and everything, so I wouldn't get overspray, but uh, you can see it really, really comes out nicely. So then I'm going to, uh, and this is just uh, decal paper, so you can actually soak that in water, have the decal come out on top, and I was experimenting with that for a bit, but uh, I don't think it's robust enough, so that's why I decided to go with um, the blue um, spray, so I'll, what I'll have to do is I'll mask it off, and I'm going to probably arrange how I'm going to do the, uh, the, the, the cross probably offset and then have the uh, you know the red lines coming off at an angle kind of thing on the uh, the faceplate then of course your blue quadrants here and everything so um, first step and uh, I want to make sure it dries really nice overnight here before I start uh, taping it or masking it off and then uh, putting um, the template on basically so I've got another uh, sheet of just plain paper that I'm going to use as a template and I'm going to measure up the lines and then uh, mask it all off and then uh, hopefully it'll come out really nice so that is kind of the reason why I did the uh, the turntable and uh, and the integrated amp I wanted to try out some different technologies here's another that's my DJ setup with a, a DJ on the side so here's another example of uh, similar technology. This was actually a laser printer on the same decal paper that you see right here, which in turn, well, you know, what I did was I trimmed around the, the outside edge, put it in a big bowl of lukewarm water, let it sit for about 35 to 40 seconds, and then this peels off just like a model airplane decal. And uh, what I did was on my facade, which I used to cover my DJ table, I've got it all backlighted with uh, LEDs and they bop to the music and everything. And of course this is all translucent, so uh, basically it goes around the outside edge of a six foot uh, standard uh, um, table, folding table, and then I can hide all my equipment, all my wires and all that sort of stuff with, uh, there you can see all the, the DJ gear that I got for weddings and reunions and and all kinds of uh, good stuff, um, curling bond spiels, you name it. So, there we are, that's a little bit of a progress report on the, uh, the quad and uh, some of the technologies I'm experimenting with to uh, make this British um, themed quad 44 preamp a reality. Thank you for watching. Here's the, uh, the hard part of this whole project, which is to <coughs> mask off the, uh, the white painted uh, quad 44 preamp uh, shell so as you can see I've decided to go with a sort of an offset design so what I've done is I've printed this out on 11 by 17 the British flag and what I'm doing is I'm incrementally cutting out each of these uh, parts here as templates so what I've done is I use the I call it the cross part and I more or less measured it there to come down on the front 
And so what I'm doing is I'm making all of the red parts accessible so when I spray it only the red parts of the flag are done. So consequently on the front here with the cross in place and I've got it so that this actually wraps over wraps over the top here like that so only the uh, this part just goes across the very top plate and the, uh, the back case so you can see where this would line up which is the other red template so if I line that up then you see then that would be the uh, the red stripe that goes there and obviously there's other faceplate stuff that's going on here so I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to paint this back part yet. Um, I've got one coming in the mail by eBay but I can always do that after the fact. But we'll see. We'll see how it looks. And uh, so again this part gets masked off and then um, so that's that part of the flag. And this part of the flag I've done likewise and that lines up basically like that. So really all you're going to do is see a little corner of that red and then the third pass of course is going to be the blue so you'll see a little bit more blue on this side and consequently you'll see the blue there. Obviously that'll be a windowed part and uh, down to there and then on that section. So that'll be the uh, the face plate and then of course up on this side we take this corner of the flag and we put it in here and then you're going to see where the red, red striping is going to go on there and likewise for this portion here all we're going to see is blue on that part and then what it'll do is we'll wrap around on the sides but i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do the face plate right now and the forward and the top part and then i'll worry about because I've got these painted or taped here so the faceplate doesn't fall off. So what I'll do is I'll do the front and the top in one spray job and then I'll have to do another red spray on the, the side. However that wraps around as you can see there. And same with how it wraps around there. So I'll do those sides separately. And uh, I'm hoping this will turn out really radical. So onward we press. Alright, there you have it. Um, fully masked. Ain't pretty. Not meant to be pretty, it's just meaning that uh, anything that's showing in white is going to be red. And hopefully it'll match after that pattern right there. So as you can see, um, the way the British flag is, uh, you got the the red line that goes up on this side by this blue piece and over here it's they're staggered so this one was over by this blue piece this one by that one and they're not symmetrical and that's kind of what I I always thought the British flag was symmetrical and it's not in a fashion I mean it sort of goes symmetrical clockwise I guess but uh, um, anyway I always thought these were just in the middle and uh, but I'm sure there's a reason for that. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. So anyway, I've uh, basically used that exact template right there. And I'm just doing, as I mentioned before, front face, the top. And I've got both sides masked off. So I'm going to have to do red in two rounds. So uh, I don't have enough, uh, enough of the uh, Plasti Dip. And that's what I'm doing it in. Um, to do this tonight, so I gotta wait till I get to get to the store tomorrow, get some more, and then we'll uh, we'll start it. Uh, the reason I don't have any red left is I did some other gear uh, before this as a test, just to make sure it worked good, and it does. So uh, more to follow when I get the paint and when I start masking it. Adage say says uh, measure twice, cut once. Well, in this case, it's uh, measure twice and then paint once. So what I did was I uh, had a look at this uh, 
masking job this morning and noticed that I had a bunch of these out of place. So uh, good thing I, I caught it. And now I've started the, uh, the paint coats on the uh, thing. So, so this is the red. And I decided instead of just doing the top and the front face plate, it would be too difficult to do uh, a bunch of different passes. So I taped the face plate to the case from the inside and then uh, made it so that I could paint all sides at one shot so I don't have to do uh, two different batches of red. So hopefully that pans out. I've given it the shot and I've just come to the conclusion in this, that this plastic plasti dip is useless for audio gear. Um, the reason is it's very susceptible to cutting and, and abrasion and it picks up dirt a lot and as you can see once it starts peeling it just goes and goes and goes so even if you get one little nick in it or something like that then it just becomes this ugly gong show so I'm giving up on this I'm not giving up on the project I'm going to just go with regular paint so I'm going to go with a base coat of white spray paint and uh, I may even just do hand bomb a lot of the uh, the finer stuff um, so we'll see. I think I can, uh, I'm finding that uh, I don't like working with masking tape as well because what it does is it leaves a lot of residue that you can see there. And unless you use it, paint right away and pull it up. Um, and I've been using good quality, well this isn't good quality stuff. I've got the blue stuff which is better. However, I'm gonna say that uh, I wouldn't recommend this stuff. It's good thing about it is that when you botch it you can go back to uh, square one pretty easily but uh, yeah this is number two that I've had to peel it back because it just the stuff splits and it's uh, yeah, it's not really great to work with in this application. So take two coming up. Here's an update on the uh, the quad. Um, I got rid of all the plasti dip and uh, that just did not work. So I got uh, Trim Clad, which is a primer paint, semi gloss, white, and you can see it really nice, it's nice, very nice. Same with the, uh, the actual case and everything. So I'm giving it 48 hours to really solidify and harden and dry and then, uh, and then I've got and so that was a spray on and then I've got um, oh that's the wrong stuff we've got another stuff in the uh, the garage which is a uh, same same uh, trim cloud kind of uh, stuff in uh, red and then I'm getting blue as well so that's uh, I'm going to hand paint I think the uh, the red striping and the blue quadrants on the uh, on the chassis once I've got everything taped off and uh, and we'll do it in one wave so I don't get uh, the tape drawing on and uh, and wrecking the uh, the nice finish on the uh, on the preamp case. So there's the uh, the update. Round three, I think. First I tried to wrap it with vinyl wrap, then I tried Plasti Dip, and now I'm just going to a straight hardcore painting. So here I have it all taped off. Um, what I've got is a template just for the red for now. So you can see that what I've done is marked it off as such. Basically, come saw. So you can see where the red areas are, and then I've got it marked come sa. So it'll be perfect. And then I've got this taped off so that I'm just basically painting the red right now, and I think I'm out to lunch on this one. Anyway. I think I might have to retape this. Good thing you measure twice. 
can see my tape job is not perfect. Actually, it's pretty close to perfect. So, it's just I got it laid on there, not perfectly flat, but you can see once that's in there, it's perfect. So, perfect, and then uh, width-wise, and then, uh, so I'm going to paint it red, so I've got this Valspar red, and we're going to go shoot it, shoot a, a coat on here and see what it looks like. Okay, we've got uh, phase two complete, so I've uh, masked both units in uh, masking tape, and I've painted the red uh, to coincide and to match, of course, that, which I've showed you before. And you can see that I've got the red pieces in. I'm going to let it dry overnight before I peel it back and get, uh, hopefully, some straight edges on this thing. So uh, once that's complete, then we'll cut out the blue sections here, the quadrants or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and then I'll use those as templates to superimpose the, uh, the blue portion with... Uh, this paint that I got, which is uh, indigo blue, and I open it up and it pops just the same as that color there. And it's an outdoor exterior paint, so it'll be nice and hardy. And then once I get everything painted up and everything touched up the way I like it, then I'll put a, a coat of clear coat on it just to uh, give it a protective finish so the paint doesn't uh, scale or peel back at all with, uh, with all the uh, layers of paint on it. So, um, other pieces I'm waiting for, I've got a piece on order from eBay, which is the piece that goes in here. And of course I'll make it the same color and then I've got to superimpose all the, the uh, base treble tilt uh, corrections and everything on it. And uh, I think it'll look pretty, pretty darn nice. Anyway, that's uh, phase two complete. Phase three will be doing the, uh, the blue. And we'll record that in due time.